let us look at solving you know, these equations with you know, or in fractional form or in a fraction form okay so whenever you have a fraction students get a panicky a panic attack happens okay so you don't need to panic by only looking at this equation you've got an x here you've got two x here so without getting panicky so what i'm thinking is to simplify a fraction, the first thing that you should know is the denominators have to be the same. So, well, this has got x and this has got 2x. So, can I make this a 2x? So, well, yes, I, if, if I multiply this by 2, I can also multiply this by 2. So, this becomes 8 over 2x minus 3 over 2x, just like that, is equal to 5. This is 8 over 2x minus 3 over 2x is nothing but 8 minus 3 over 2x. So when the denominators are same, you can add or subtract the numerators. So which is, so I'll do it here. So this is 5 over 2x is equal to 5. Now, whatever we do on the left-hand side, you have to do on the right-hand side. So I don't want this 2x sitting in the denominator. So how can I cancel that? I want to eliminate that, so well, I can multiply this by this side by 2x to get rid of this 2x. So if you multiply the left hand side by 2x, you have to also multiply the right hand side by 2x. So now this is a very friendly form, so this and this gets cancelled. So this is 5 is equal to 10x, or you can say 10x is equal to 5. I want to get rid of this 10, so what can I do? I can divide this side by 10, so I also divide this side by 10. So what happens is 10 and 10 gets cancelled, so x is 5 over 10, which is nothing but half. Okay, so let us use a calculator to check our answer. Okay, so there is my calculator, so this is my calculator. Uh, so yeah, it's always good to check your answer, there's nothing wrong. Of course, you can put the answer back into this. Okay, let us do without the calculator. Okay, how can we do this with it? So this is <coughs> 4 divided by half. So let us check our answer. So how can we check? <coughs> so this is 4 divided by half minus 3 divided by 2 times half. Okay, now. What does it mean by 4 dividing by half? So when you're dividing 4 into halves, how many halves will you get? So 4 divided by half, logically I hope you understand, is 8 minus, this is 2 times half is 1. So this is 3 over 1, which is 8 over 3, 8 take away 3, which is 5. So even without the calculator, we got, this is the right hand side. So now how to check this on the calculator? At times you can be lazy and I want to use my calculator <coughs> to check my answer. So go to solve a menu. Hopefully I can get it. So this is 4 divided by x just like that minus 3 divided by 2x. And this is your press shift equal. This dot is related with the shift. So equal 5. E execute. And then you go to solve. So that is 0 0.5. This is the answer, 0 0.5. So this is, you have also checked it on a calculator. Okay, the next question. 2x plus 6 over 5 plus x minus 3 over 5 is equal to 4x over 5 minus 8. Okay, now this 8, I'm going to write as 8 over 1. So yeah, the LCM, or if you, you don't want to do LCM, 3 times 5 is 15. So 3 and 5 goes in 15. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this next step like this. So this is 15 times 2x plus 6 over 5. I'm going to multiply 15 to all the numerators or each term of the numerator or each term of the expression. So this is 15 times x minus 3 over 3 is equal to 15 times 4x over 5 minus 15 times 8 over 1. So 15 goes in, sorry, 
phi goes in phi once and phi goes in 15 three times. So phi goes in, sorry, 3 goes in 3 once and 3 goes in phi, sorry, 15 phi times. Phi goes in phi once and phi goes in. So what I'm doing is I'm basically dividing both the numerator and denominator here by phi. Here again, just I'm dividing by 3 and here I'm dividing by phi. So this is 3. And so this next step, let me change color. So this is nothing but 3 times. This is 3 times 2x plus 6. In algebra, I would prefer, if you're still not very confident in algebra, it's always good to do more steps rather than fewer steps. So this is 12x minus 15 times 8 is 120. Okay. So now this is expanding it. Be careful. If there is minuses, be careful. So this is 6x plus 18 plus 5x minus 15 is equal to 12x minus 120. So you can always check the answer. So let me write one more step. So this is 6x plus 5x plus 18 minus 15 is equal to 12x minus 120. So this is, you have to simplify these like terms. So this is 11x plus 3 is equal to 12x minus 120. The next step I'm going to do slightly differently. So this is the same as 11x plus 3 is equal to this 12x. Can I write this as 11x plus x minus 120? So what we're doing is we're canceling this 11x from both sides. So what happens? What remains is 3 is equal to x minus 120. So let me rewrite this. This is x minus 120 is equal to 3. So adding 120 to both sides, if you add 120 to this side, you have to add 120 to this side. Hopefully the answer is right. So let's check the answer. So x is equal to I have a suspicion this answer may be wrong. I don't know. So let us check it. So I'm a bit lazy. I'm using a calculator. Okay. So let me scroll up. So this was the example. So uh, exit. So uh, delete. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to type in, in a bracket. So this is 2x plus 6 divided by 5 plus, again, bracket, uh, this is x minus 3, x minus 3, divided by 3, okay, let me move it on this side, equal to, so you go shift, equal, 4x divided by 5, minus 8, okay, then go to solve, yes, we are right, the answer is 123. Okay, no problem. Okay, let me move on to the next question. Yeah, I have got, this is, you've got 5, five minus 2x in the denominator and x plus 3 in the denominator, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to use the method called cross multiplying. Okay, now, so I'll first write the step. So this is nothing but minus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 2 times five minus two x. Now you may wonder how can I do this? Okay, so let me give you a side example. Always good to go back to numbers. Suppose can you say say, say three quarters is equal to six eighths. Three quarter and six eighths are one and the same. So if you multiply the numbers, so you cross multiply this is three times eight, if you multiply three and eight, that is equal to 6 times 4. Okay, so if two ratios are equal, the cross product is always going to be equal. Okay, so let me take say 5 tenths is same as 4 eighths. Both are half. If you multiply the cross product, so that is 5 times 8 is 4 times 10 or 10 times 4. So the same principle we can do it. This is a ratio is equal to this. So you can cross multiply. 
So this is minus 4x minus 12. You have to be very careful with negatives. Is equal to, this is 10 minus 4x. Okay, so what happens now? So what we are saying is minus 4x plus 10 is equal to minus 4x minus 12. Now if you look at this equation, uh, if you think logically, if you take what they are saying is, you multiply, you take, if you take a number and you multiply by negative 4 and then add 10 is same as minus 4 times that same number minus 12. So can you find a number having this relationship? So we say, well, logically, I hope you understand it's not possible. So you can say no solution. We will say here yeah, there are no solutions. It's not possible to get any value of x which will satisfy this equation. Okay. Let me do the last question. This is 6 times, sorry, 6x six, six minus 2 over 5x plus 4 is equal to negative 8. So here we can of course cross multiply. So this is, or we can also do like this. So this is 6x six minus 2. I'm going to multiply the numerator by 5x plus 4. Okay, so if you multiply the numerator by 5x plus 4, you can also, multiplying one side by 5x plus 4, you have to also multiply the other side by 5x plus 4. This is nothing but cross multiplication. So what happens? This and this gets cancelled. So what remains is 6x six minus 2 is equal to, this is minus 40x minus 32. Okay, so I want to, I want to get rid of this minus 40 from this side. So I will add 40x to this side. So to add 40x to this side. I want to get rid of this negative 2. So I'm adding 2 to this side. So adding 2 to this side. Okay, so what happens? Uh, minus 40x and plus 40x gets cancelled, minus 2 and plus 2 gets cancelled. So what is remaining is, this is 46x is equal to minus 30. So dividing both sides by 46, so if you divide this side by 46, you can divide this side by 46, so 46 and 46 gets cancelled. x is equal to, this is minus 15 over 23 is the answer. Okay, so let us check this answer uh, on a calculator. So this is mm, exit, delete, yes. So you go, oops, so bracket, 6x minus 2 divided by 5x plus 4 shift equal negative 8 and solver this is minus this is nothing but minus 15 over 23 minus 6.25 so let me let us do that on a calculator so if you go minus 15 divided by 23 it will give you that same number 